Big girl. <laughs> yeah. Hello, welcome to another weekly vlog. It is Tuesday, September 29th today, and it's the early afternoon. We just finished lunch as a family. Nora's here with me. I have been waiting and putting off starting this vlog all day because I keep waiting for, um, I keep thinking, oh, once I get myself together, then I'll start it. But I'm coming to terms with the fact that I'm not getting myself together today. So I'm just a bit of a mess, but it's been a really good day. The weather outside is gorgeous. The high is like 72 degrees. So this morning it was in like the high 50s, low 60s, just that crisp, amazing fall air. It was so wonderful. We are getting ourselves back into the swing of things after having some amazing house guests for the past five days and four nights. My sweet, sweet friend, Jesse, who I have been friends with online for the past several years, at least three or four years, and her daughter, Zoe, came and made the trip to Texas to visit us, and we had so much fun. It was so much fun. Jesse's blog is Life Abundant Blog. I'll leave a link to it below. I think anybody would love reading it, but especially if you are struggling with infertility and growing your family, she has written so, so much about that and um, is just really a dear, dear person. You will love her. Her daughter Zoe is precious. I She's 10 years old. I love that age group, um, that like preteen age group. They crack me up. I think they're so funny. I just really, I love that age group. In fact, when I lived in Austin, I used to lead a sixth grade girls small group at my church and it was just my favorite thing. I just love that age. So anyway, having her here with her mama was so much fun. And Zoe, being the goofball she is, filmed a little segment on my camera and I promised her I would put it in the next weekly vlog. So I'm gonna pop that in here now. <laughs> and then say like, hey. Hey. <laughs> What did we do today? We went to the zoo. We played with Baby Nora a lot. Well, yeah. And we played charades, drawing games. So yeah, it's fun. I hang out with Flair. Yay! And we went and got ice cream. Ice cream. And then you just say, well, I'll see you later. <laughs> and then it looks like they got slammed the door. Edit that. Yes. Yeah. You don't edit reopening it and coming in and getting it out. <laughs> so yes, needless to say, we had a blast with them. We did all kinds of things around here, did crafts and baking and cooking. And uh, we took long walks with Nora. We went to the zoo with Nora. There's not a lot that's totally opened yet. Um, especially like in the greater Dallas area, there's some really cool children's museums and things like that that I would normally have wanted to check out with them, but those are not open yet. So we made our own fun and we had a great time. Anyway, so it's Tuesday afternoon because yesterday I was really getting Etsy back on track after taking a break while they were here. And um, this morning I've been doing more of the same. So I feel like I'm back into the swing of things and um, just really enjoying this fall weather and this fall season. It's just been, even though we're just into it, it's been just amazing so far. Of course, I have my Pumpkin Spice Life shirt on as well. So I will vlog probably through Friday or Saturday and edit this for a Sunday morning release as usual. Um, squatting down like this is actually nice because I have my hand resting on the sofa. Anyway, I, uh oh, oh, Nora's just throwing the remote as usual. I will check in with you guys in a little while. We have already been up to Riley's studio this morning to work on getting some things done for the Christmas line, which is launching so soon. I cannot wait. It is one of my, it's my favorite line of the year. And this is probably my favorite Christmas line we've ever done. It just gets better every year. So anyway, I think we're heading back up there now here in a few minutes. Um, and I think I'm making butternut squash soup tonight for dinner. So all kinds of wonderful things on the horizon. <laughs> Thanks for being here. So today I, Actually, Jesse stripped the bed before she left, which was is a really nice thing to do if you're a guest in someone's house. Um, it, I really, really appreciated it so that I just threw all the sheets and everything into the wash and um, I just remade the bed. And this is something I've shared before, but it's really helpful if you are like me and you forget whether or not the sheets are clean. I like to put a sticky note in here that says the sheets are clean and then I keep robes in my guest room because the bathroom is down the hall. It's not right on, um, right not, you know, 
it's not attached to this room. And then I just put this so that makes it easy for me. So that whenever someone else comes, which I think the next people who will be here, my sister is going to come visit here in a month and a half. Um, I'll know that the sheets are clean. And sometimes I'll just go ahead and take the pillowcases off and, and um, run them through the wash. But aside from that, everything else is clean and covered and good. And then these are... I have the rest of the towels in the wash right now, but I have guest room towels that have this blue design at the bottom. They were on clearance at Bed Bath & Beyond several years ago, and then these I sell in my Etsy shop. They are makeup towels, um, and this one is a washcloth size, and this one is a hand towel size, and um, I love, I have a set for myself in my bedroom or my bathroom, and then I keep a set um, washed and in the guest room so that my guests can take their makeup off and not be worried about ruining the towels since they are white. So that is the story with the guest room. Nora, did you just turn on the TV and turn on Sweet Home Sex Tuplets? <laughs> did you do that? How do you know how to do that? So here's the funny thing, and I think I've talked about this before. We bought this. It is a real Roku remote, but it doesn't have batteries in it, so it doesn't work. And this is the real one, and she only likes the real one. How do you know? How do you know the difference? How do you know the difference? <laughs> Nora's giggling. For dinner tonight, I made a super fall meal. I made some homemade butternut squash soup and I did grilled cheese with cheddar and apples. Yum. Hey guys, it is about nine o'clock now and I am just getting ready for bed. Um, dinner was super delicious. If you like butternut squash soup, I will leave the recipe linked below. Super, super easy and healthy. It was just butternut squash, half an apple and half of an onion pureed together with some spices and vegetable broth. So really filling and it tasted like a delicious fall meal. And then we added in um, that yummy grilled cheese with cheddar and apple. And it was like all so amazing. I've gotten, every time that I do a um, little chat with y'all when I'm using this little scrubby, this one is actually from Dermalogica, which is a skincare line I've been using. I'm running low on some of my products. Um, and it came with the pre-cleansed balm that I'm using right now. It came with it. So um, people have asked for me to link to it, but it, to link to it would be linking to both of these things. But I've seen this on these little mitts for washing your face on Amazon. So I will leave a link to them below if you're interested. I love... Oh, I forgot to put my, I'm kind of a mess today. Uh, forgot to put my hairband. I'll keep my hair on my face while I do this. And I usually like to pull my hair into a bun so that it, when I'm leaning over to rinse my face, it's not getting everywhere, you know what I mean? Um, I spent the evening, well, as you know, I was working this morning and then I went um, back up to Riley's studio to work some more and then I've been working all evening. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed in, not quite, it's like only nine o'clock, but in the next hour or two and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning! It's Wednesday, I just made my iced coffee and I'm having toast with almond butter and um, sliced banana and then this Flavor God seasoning sprinkled on top. It is so yummy. So that's how I'm starting my day. Nora is starting hers over there. We just finished up breakfast and one of my rhythms that I try to stick to each day is after breakfast to pull out dinner ingredients if they need to thaw. I probably should have done it the night before, but I didn't, so. Um, I'm pulling out some chicken because we're going to have chicken tonight and we're having it tomorrow night. Um, and tonight we are trying a new recipe. This is 
butter chicken recipe. This has really good reviews online, so we've never made this before, but we like butter chicken, so I'm hoping it is good. We'll see tonight. And we have regular rice, and then we also have cauliflower rice, so I'll see which one we decide to go with tonight, um, but I'm just pulling it all out, even though it's only, you know, 10 a.m., just so that when dinner time comes around, it's one less thing to have to think about, because Nora, can you hear her playing? She plays really well by herself in the morning, but by dinner time, she starts to need more support, and so it's easier to do things like this in the morning. You're 11 months old today. 11 months old today. That's right. Only one more month until she turns one. We're gonna go take her 11 month photos. Let's make some dinner. All right, so I just stirred the chicken in and I'm just letting it come to a simmer with the lid cover just so it gets all nice and warm. I did just taste it and it was absolutely delicious. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for this. We're gonna do cauliflower rice. Um, I will leave a link to this recipe below, last night's recipe below, the grilled cheese I just made up. It was just bread with cheddar and apples last night, um, but I did use a recipe for the butternut squash soup, so I'll leave that below and this one below as usual. I'm so excited for this, yum. Also, let me know who else opens up the Tupperware cabinet so that they can cook dinner if they have a little one. That's right, and it just goes everywhere. Yeah. All right, Riley just texted me that he is gonna be home in about 15 minutes. So the table is set and um, dinner is just about ready. I'm gonna pop that cauliflower rice in the microwave um, in about 10 minutes because it takes about five. I don't regularly, I would say about once a week. Once every Monday through Friday I have dinner like ready and waiting when he gets home. Um, but tonight is a little bit different. It's almost 7.30 already because he, um, we were both up there working late and then I stayed, I mean, yeah. then he stayed late yeah. to print samples for my Christmas line. So I had a little bit extra time, but I always, come here whenever I can. I think it's just a nice way. It's a nice way to show love, isn't it? To have food on the table. He certainly doesn't expect it, but he always, always appreciates it. So. I'm gonna try to clean up the kitchen. The dishwasher needs to be emptied and refilled. I'm gonna see if I can maybe tackle that before he, um, before he comes home. Are you a mess? Dad. Yes, you are. Dad. Finger up the nose, right in the mouth. All right, dinner served, including for Norini. Riley, what do you think about it? It's really good. It reminds me of tikka masala. <clears throat> so I think I love Indian food now. <laughs> do you love it? Do you love it? You sure do. Good morning guys, it's Thursday now. This week is really flying by. I'm sitting here feeding Nora some yogurt and Cheerios for breakfast and I just had some coffee and cereal myself. Um, that's right, would you like some more? I'm leaning down because I have my camera on a small tripod and I'm too tall for it. Um, I am feeling pretty stretched thin this morning. Um, well, actually this whole week really because Unfortunately, my, unfortunately for me, I'm happy for her, my assistant who has been my lifeline, my lifeline for the past year and a half is moving out of state, is moving out of state. And unfortunately, um, I don't, I don't need virtual help. I need in-person help. And she, throughout my pregnancy, she helped me with, 
okay, how about some of these? She helped me with absolutely everything. Um, I mean, from organizing the nursery to her number one main um, job was helping me with Etsy, but she also helped me with a variety of other things and she was incredible. I got along with her so well. We really, really grew to just love each other. And she's moving out of state, so I'm losing her. So I am actively looking for a new assistant. So if anyone lives near me, shoot me an email. Um, if you're interested, so I'm feeling stretched because of that because now, you know, Nora's here and I have even less time. <laughs> and um, this is my busy season for Etsy with fall and Christmas lines launching. The fall line's already launched. The Christmas line will be launching um, probably the day this video goes up. I'll talk about that more later if that is the case. Um, and so I just... It's just a lot of work, you know, to be a full-time mom and to run a business that really requires a lot of hours. And so I'm just tired. I've been staying up late after Nora goes to bed to get things done and I miss having an assistant. Um, yes, because that allowed me to have a little bit more of a balanced day because I would be was able to get things done during the daytime hours and then by the time the evening rolled around, I was... I was pretty well set, but anyway, I think what I might go do today is first things first, go and take a walk with Norni, um, just to get out of the house. It's it's beautiful outside today, and um, I think it would be good for me to get out and take a deep breath and get some fresh air, and um, and then return to tackling my to do list. In other news, I'll be brief because I've already been talking for three minutes and I'm a disaster. Oh, have I been out of focus this whole time? Maybe. There's just a lot happening this morning. Um, in other news, I hired this incredible designer out of Virginia who is helping me with branding and um, it's funny because I actually went to school for business marketing and I took a lot of classes in branding and they were my favorite classes, but I feel like I'm too close to it for my own um, business, like for my shop, my blog, <clears throat> and my YouTube channel. I want the branding between the three of those to be cohesive and I want it to really feel like me. And every time I sit down to work on it, it just feels like I'm too close to it. And I wanted some outside inspiration and some like a breath of fresh air from someone who does this professionally. And I have been so, so happy. Um, we've been working together for about a week and we have gotten so far. She is incredible. I'll share more details later once I have the final, um, you know, branding finished, but you guys are gonna love it. It's like so me. She had me fill out this, yes, this very extensive brand discovery workbook before I, before we, would you like some more yogurt? Before we began working together, some more puffs, more? And um, she had me like describe my business and talk about adjectives to describe it and how I want people to feel when they interact with my business and obviously it's a little different than some people's because it's like three faceted but it was still I think really a really good exercise for both me and then it seems like it was able to help her inform her design decisions because she has been spot on with everything she sent me I've been like totally obsessed with it so I'm really excited to share that with you um, so good things are happening I'm just a little stretched. I think this time of year, especially as we move into the holiday season, I think a lot of people are feeling a little bit stretched. Um, there's just a lot that happens at this time of year. And for small business owners, specifically in retail, this is by far the busiest time of year. You want some more? You just want to make noise. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she started doing this head shaking thing. Let me see if I can get it. Norni. Norni. Hey. Can you tell me no? Nora. No. Can you show me no? Nora. No. Are you 
supposed to be eating dog food like you did this morning? No. <laughs> Are you supposed to be eating dog food? No. That's right. Daddy caught you eating dog food this morning. It's a good thing you're so cute. Anyway, that's a little update on what's going on. I'm tired and stretched thin. Nora is growing up so fast. I'm rebranding. She's shaking her head at me. Are you shaking your head at mama? She's so silly and I think we're gonna go take a walk. Good morning. All right, Norny, we just got to the park and we're getting ready to take a nice walk. It's a beautiful day. We just got back from our walk and we walked for four miles. So we've been gone for about almost, probably like an hour and a half. I was gonna say almost two hours, that's not exactly accurate. That was such a refreshing walk. It was exactly what my soul needed in so many ways. And I'm always so undone when I feel like the Lord just meets me where I am. And I was going to call a friend this morning and see if she wanted to walk with me because we walk together a lot, but I saw on her Instagram that she posted pictures from a walk and said it was such a nice one, and I thought, oh man, she already walked this morning. So I didn't text her, and um, I was walking, and I, I put in my headphones. I was just listening to worship music, and Nora fell asleep, and she was just napping, and it was so relaxing. And there in the distance, I see the very friend that I was going to ask to walk with me, walking towards me with her daughter, and I was just so undone by God's goodness in that moment. And I said, oh my gosh, I was going to ask you to walk with me, but I thought you, I saw your Instagram, and she said, actually, those pictures were from yesterday. And so we ended up walking together and talking, and there's been something that I've been really wrestling with and struggling with that um, I've wanted to talk to her about, and um, I finally, it was like a therapy session. It was like I was able to just like tell her this thing that's going on and how I'm trying to figure out what to do, and she was able to give me her input, and it was just like exactly what my heart needed. Plus, it was like 68 or 69 degrees. <laughs> Sorry, Norty, one second. And breezy and cool and like fall, amazing weather. <sighs> Just felt like a really deep breath um, for my soul, that walk. So. I'm just so grateful that it worked out the way that it did and that I just felt like God just met me in that park and put my friend there so that I could have a good conversation with her and the weather was perfect. It was just really nice. So I'm extremely hungry now because it's, you know, like 12.30, it's time to eat. So we're gonna head inside and I'm gonna make us some lunch. Nora napped almost the whole walk so she probably won't go down. Um, she normally goes down around 11, I don't know what I'm talking about. So she napped the whole walk, which was her standard time. And then um, maybe she'll take her afternoon nap. Always a little dicey, you never really know. But that was incredible. That was such a, just kiss on the forehead from God. Loved it. Hey guys, it's been a couple of hours. We came home from our walk and ate lunch and then I took a shower and pulled myself together. And now we are heading out the door to run a few errands. It is 3.45, about 3.46 and I am at Sonic. I'm getting a Diet Cherry Limeade, and Riley wanted a Diet Limeade, and I'm gonna go ahead and drop that off. I just went and ran a couple of errands. I'll show you what I got when I get home. All right, we're back home, and although it is October 1st, I guess it's not too early, because now we're in October. Can't believe that. I bought four cookie tins, so two of the Let It Snow and two of the Happy Holidays for gifts. As you know, I love baking cookies. And last two years ago, I did Christmas cookie week, which was seven days in a row of seven different cookie recipes. Super fun. Um, in December of 2018, last year I had a new, new, newborn. So, um, I wasn't doing none of that, but I'm going to get back into baking this year and I'm going to get package them up and give them to family and friends. I got a couple personal care products. I got some body wash for Riley, and then I really like Dove shampoo and conditioner. So I got Dove shampoo and conditioner for myself. This is the volume and fullness one. I don't think I've ever had this particular one, but I've tried 
Um, I think they're Daily Moisture. I really like that one. And then I've heard really good things about this. Let me see if I can get it to focus. It is the Dove um, Dry Shampoo. This one is for brunettes. Um, I don't know that I would describe myself as a brunette, but I'm more of a brunette than a blonde, so I think this will work. Some, sometimes I am a brunette. Sometimes my hair gets lighter and redder and all kinds of things. I got some more of these little um, hair ties that are like coils. I love these. I've talked about these before. This is not the brand name, but they feel like they'll be great. And I like that they have brown ones. Um, I only have the clear ones, but I think these will look good as well. And then I keep hearing that it's time to start brushing Nora's teeth, which is precious. So I got her this little set so I can start brushing her two sweet little bottom teeth. And as she gets more, I will brush those as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff away and then I'm going to get started on dinner. All right, I am making dinner now. So tonight we're having spicy chicken soft tacos with goat cheese and you also add cabbage for a little bit of crunch on corn tortillas. So I have the chicken cooking in the spicy tomato mixture right now. And um, I'll show you what it looks like once it's finished. We've never had this before, but it sounds really good. So I will I'll let you know what we think and I'll put the link below. Nora's already eating because she is already hungry. She was working on this pouch earlier, so I'm gonna leave it here to offer it to her. But she has some of the chicken without all the spice and seasonings and then a cut up corn tortilla. Do you like it? Yeah? And then here's what dinner looks like, not assembled yet. So I have a couple little hot saucy things here. I did do the corn tortillas on the griddle, so some of them are a little bit more burnt. That's how Riley likes them. I like them more like the one in my hand. This is some green cabbage. So you will take a corn tortilla and put on some of the spicy chicken and the green cabbage and the goat cheese. And then if you want sour cream, cilantro you can sprinkle cilantro on top and um, a squeeze of lime juice sounds super super good look at this big girl such a big girl all right here's riley's taco squeeze of lime <laughs> squeeze of lime into the water <laughs> super good mm -hmm. Yeah, the goat cheese and cabbage really make it like special. Good morning guys, it's Friday now. This week has flown by and we just finished up eating breakfast. I'm not exactly sure what the day will look like other than packaging some orders for my shop and spending time with Nora, which are pretty standard pillars of my days every day. So I am going to do that. One thing I'm looking forward to is that Riley and I might be going out on a date night tonight. Riley's gonna see if his mom is available to watch Nora. We might be doing that tonight. I hope we are. I would love to be doing that tonight. So anyway, good morning and happy Friday. Hey guys, it is the evening now and Riley and I are just about to head out on our date night. We are gonna make it happen tonight. I'm really, really excited. So I wanted to show you what I'm wearing. It is nothing overly exciting. It's just that I almost never have real clothes on. As you know, I have t-shirts and leggings on 99% of the time. So I'm feeling very fresh right now, <laughs> being in an actual outfit. <laughs> so let me show you what, I'm, what I have on. Okay, so where we're going is very casual. Um, it, like I said, it's just like a coffee shop wine bar, so it doesn't need to be fancy. But this shirt, I think, is so cute. This is from J. Crew, and so the front is just kind of like a, not really a sweatshirty material, but kind of like a thicker material. And then the back is thin. It has, like, um, what would that be called? Almost like eyelid. Can you see that? Let me step back. Anyway, I think it's really, really cute. Um, I could even like do a little tuck, but you know, I'm not that trendy. Um, and then I just have a long necklace on and I have skinny jeans on. And these are my new shoes. Let me just take one off and show you. These are from Rothy's. I've talked about this brand before. I also have the loafers. I love these shoes. I usually hate flats. I think they're so uncomfortable and these are so comfy. And look how cute. 
They have three different kinds of animal print and they're made from recycled water bottles. So they have this really interesting texture and you can put them in the washing machine and wash them. Um, so in days and times like this, you really might want to do that. So I'm not overly fancy. I just did my hair and makeup, juiced it up a little bit, and then I just have, you know, a little, little sassy outfit on that's not, you know, still comfy and not very... I, f I would feel a little bit silly if I got overly made up for this particular place, but I just wanted to zhuzh myself up just a little bit, so that's what I'm wearing. Here's Riley. Looking so thin. Yeah. And Nora so keeps looking at my face because I shaved. I know. And she keeps touching it. Your hair is like getting a little bit of like a little flick in the back. It's getting so long. That's the hat. We'll push it up and then I'll stick it. Oh. Your hair also grows ridiculously fast. Yeah. But you look so cute. Thank you. I mean, you look so handsome. You look really pretty. Oh, thank you. Norny, we're going on a date night. You're not coming, but we'll probably talk about you the whole time. Here's where we were. We were at the Red Fox Lounge. It's a really cozy little small town place. And it's right here on our town's little square. There's the courthouse. We're just gonna head back to our car. That was such a fun date night. What'd you think about our date? I loved it. I'm so happy we got to go out. I know. It's so nice to just take a little break from parenthood and enjoy each other. Yeah. And some yummy food. And I had sangria. And Riley had. And I had a couple of different beers. They were really, really, really good. So fun. But we miss, really we miss Nora. We miss Nora, but we've only been gone for an hour and a half. So, well, like two hours. Hour and 45 minutes. Also, that chocolate banana cake oh was the best, the best of all time. It was so, so yummy. Fun. Good morning everyone, it's Saturday and Nora is in this adorable romper jumpsuit situation. It is so, so cute, it has a little pink embroidery at the top, are you so proud of yourself? We are getting ready to go and pick up groceries from Walmart and then also, um, also our drawers are still organized. And we are also going to get a new TV. So this TV here is seven or eight years old? It's, it's pretty old and it's starting to like not really work <laughs> that it's, well. It makes noise. It makes like loud noises. It's time. We use it a lot. Every night we use it for hours and during the day sometimes too. So it's time for a new one. I think we're going to bump this one into our guest room. Our guest room doesn't have a TV. Um, it might be a bit big. We're going to see. But it would be nice for our guests to be able to, especially when my mom comes and stays for a couple of weeks, it would be nice for her to have you know, for the mornings or evenings to be able to watch TV. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a little bit of a bigger um, TV for this room. Hi, Charlie Bear. Nora's already been tearing into everything this morning because she's so active. It's gonna be like 80 something degrees, so that's why she's in um, sleeveless, although I'm gonna put a little sweater on her. So we're gonna head out and do that now. I cannot even deal with how cute you are. And you're cute too. He knows we're about to leave, so he's about to get a treat. Norny Bug. You look precious. We got it all set up. It looks so amazing. It would have been fun to get an even bigger TV, but this room you're okay, Norny Bug. Let me turn the brightness up. This room is quite small. I mean, when you're sitting, you're watching TV right here. So we didn't want it to be so huge where you're like getting a headache because it's just so big. So this is a 50 inch and that's a, I think it was 42 inches, our old one. So it's a pretty good upgrade plus the picture and the, just the quality of it is so much better because it's not, you know, eight years old or however old the other one was. 
So it looks really good. And then we did get the sound bar as well, which sounds amazing. And we got all of our everything set up so it's nice and neat. And we went from having multiple remotes, now we just have the one and the sound. Oh my gosh, it sounds so good. I mean, it's hard to tell on football because they're just talking, but super thrilled with that. What do you think, Ry? Super excited about all these games we get to watch. And, oh, and we can um, stream music from our phones to that and it shows the music on the screen. So when we have people over, that'd be really nice. Yeah, that'll be great. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog here in just a minute, but before I do, I want to show you the new designs that are coming to my shop on the day that this video is launched. It's a, we're having a Christmas line, holiday line launch tonight. So I will show you what we are adding to the shop. Um, this will be like your first peek. And then um, I'm gonna sign off. Okay, so first of all, this is something I have never added to my shop before. These are flower sack dish towels, and they are screen printed. So this one is screen printed with a dark green color, and it says, a thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices. I felt like that was perfect for 2020 and the Christmas season. And this one says, eat, drink, and be merry. And the ones that I got are um, really oversized. You can see they're a lot bigger than your average dish towel and they're made with organic cotton. So they're really, really soft, they're really huge, they're actually super functional. So you could just put them out in your kitchen, um, you know, hang them in your kitchen on the oven or whatever for just a cute little Christmas touch, but you could totally use them. They're like amazing quality as well. So I have two of those, two different designs I mean. A couple of more things for the kitchen. They come in this hunter green color or in this red color, and there are two designs. You can get either design on either color. They're aprons and they're adjustable. This string that goes around your neck and around your waist is um, the same one. And so if you pull it here, it will tighten the neck. You get that, um, so adjustable. So this one says, have a holly jolly Christmas. And then the next one says, joy, peace, and love. This one really could be used all year long, but I thought it was especially appropriate for the holiday season. So these are for all of y'all who are Christmas bakers and cooks like me. This, I love this hat. This is like a vintage green cap. It is adjustable in the back and um, it just has a minimalistic Christmas tree design. So I realize people in more northern states, unless you just wear ball caps all year long, this might not be very practical, but for those of us where it doesn't really get that cold, sometimes just a ball cap is all you want in the winter time. So I love this with the little Christmas tree. Now moving on to our designs for this year and all of the designs from previous years will also be available. So if you're not familiar with my shop, what you do is choose your garment and your design. Every single order is made to order, so um, you can order any design on any garment, if that makes sense. If you have questions, shoot me an email on Etsy. Don't comment here with questions because I check Etsy constantly and I only check YouTube every once in a while. Okay. These are embroidered, so this one says Believe, and this is the maroon, we are not focusing well, um, there we go, the maroon sweatshirt, and then here's the same design on a brick Comfort Colors long sleeve, on a berry Comfort Colors long sleeve, I just love this design, you really could wear it all year long, but of course it's perfect during the holidays. This is black, if I set my light a little better it might look more black, but you get the idea it is. Um, okay, next design, love this one. Baby, it's cold outside, isn't that so cute? Um, and this is on a navy sweatshirt. Here it is on navy comfort colors. This is called blue spruce. This is my favorite color of comfort colors that we offer. I absolutely love it. It's great for the holiday season. Baby, it's cold outside. And here it is on graphite, a long sleeve comfort colors. All right, moving on to screen printed designs. This one I love, it's fa la 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 la, as you can see, and we decided to do it very oversized. This is our biggest design that we've ever screen printed. If you're not familiar, screen printing is not the same as vinyl, it is actually ink that has been cured onto the fabric, um, and so it's super durable and it just wears really well. It's really comfortable because you can't feel it on the inside or anything like that. Um, so here is, 
fa la 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 on a cardinal sweatshirt. And the same thing on a blue spruce. So we typically don't offer screen print on comfort colors, but we are offering it for this holiday season. So fa la 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 on the blue spruce comfort colors. So cute. And you can get this in short sleeves and then there's a variety of colors in long sleeves. Here it is on the dark green sweatshirt. The lighting's a little weird today, but you get the idea. This is a solid maroon. Gosh, this looks red. In real life, it's really maroon. You can kind of see in the dark here. Um, this is a crew neck. These are unisex. They're really comfortable and cute, and they're less oversized than the comfort colors. Really cute. Um, a black v-neck, a black sweatshirt. Okay, and then that's out. Um, next design, love this one too. Some of these have fuzzies on them because I haven't taken photos yet and lint rolled them and everything. This is on Cardinal, Merry and Bright. I love that. Here it is on Maroon, the same design, Merry and Bright. Here it is, this is called a cardinal crew neck. It's more of a deep red. And then here it is on a berry comfort colors, short sleeves. And our final design for this year, which I felt like was super appropriate given how difficult 2020 has been for all people <laughs> and the political climate. I just thought, of course, peace on earth is something that is important all the time, but this design just makes me take a deep breath. So this is on a mar solid maroon crew neck, peace on earth. Here it is on an emerald crew neck. This is looking really blue on camera, let me see. Um, that's closer to the color. It's actually really similar to this dark green. Um, here it is on a dark green sweatshirt, screen printed. Here it is on a hemp comfort colors screen printed and on navy comfort colors screen printed so pretty so those I'm trying to make them neat so because i'm going to photograph them here in a couple of minutes so i can get the listing set up for tomorrow when this video goes up and when the line launches Okay, so those are all of the Christmas designs that are new to this year. We also have some adorable designs from years past that will be brought back out into my storefront, so you're welcome to check those out. You can always check out my shop at BlairLambDesign.com. There's always a link below. With the launch of this Christmas line, I will be having a sale, and so you definitely want to go and check it out so that you can take advantage of that sale and get your Christmas garments and get them ready to go. We are a made-to-order shop, so things take usually two to three weeks plus shipping time and so you want to make sure that if you want these things for the beginning of the Christmas season wherever you that consider that to be that you place your order sooner than later plus it's great to take advantage of the sale I also have those two big baskets of inventory that I mentioned in a previous vlog I have not yet had my inventory sale Without my assistance help, it is taking me an extraordinarily long time to get every single thing listed and double checked because I obviously have to make sure I'm listing the correct things because those are not made to order, they are already made. So that will be coming soon, hopefully in the next two weeks if I can find the time, but it really is challenging to get those all done. But stick around for that. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Blair Lamb Design if you want more information. Like I said, go check out this sale. This line is launching at 5 p.m. Central Time on the day that this video is going up, which is October 4th. Um, and the sale, I usually run my sales for at least a few days. So if you're watching it a little later in the week you still have the chance. Anyway, thank you so much for following along this week with our family's week and everything that happened. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.